In five weeks, a man convicted of murder and tied to multiple violent rapes is expected to be released from prison. But tonight, the brother of that murder victim is speaking out about this. He sat down with our Karen Scullin today to share his warning for others. It has been 41 years since the body of 17-year-old Lori Mesdal was found by the railroad tracks in North Minneapolis. She had been raped, beaten, stabbed, and choked. Her family had to live through decades without any justice, police knowing who did it, but the evidence to prove it wasn't strong enough at that time. My family lived through hell for 36 years just trying to put this together. Who would do something so vicious, so mean, so everything? Well, the DNA test finally came in and the DNA test came up positive for Daryl Ray. That was 2013. DNA finally tied Daryl Ray to the rape and murder of Lori Mesdal, and he was finally convicted of second-degree murder in 2019. This is video from that 2019 case. Young choking back tears as he thought of his dying sister. Until she took her last breath. But Lori's rape and several other cases of rape he was tied to by DNA could not be prosecuted because the statute of limitations had run out. Young met some of Ray's other survivor victims when he went to court for his sister's case. They all shared horrifying stories. She was beaten, but he stabbed her in the back of the neck with an ice pick, and she played dead on the floor, and he kept driving, and when the car slowed down, apparently she rolled out of the car, and she was able to get away because he, he took off. Ray was sentenced to 10 years for second-degree murder, but now... He is set to be released on May 23rd, not serving the entire 10 years. Young believes he will reoffend. So to think of you're letting somebody out that would do something so vicious to a human being, and yet he's going to be walking the streets and imagine being his neighbor. At the time of Ray's conviction, the criminal complaint stated that officers were familiar with the defendant as he was a suspect person of interest in multiple open police investigations involving sexual assault, physical assault, murder, and missing persons cases. Although it's hard for Young to talk about his sister, he feels compelled to at least try to warn others that Ray is on his way out. Is it hard still? It is. Now, Ray has denied knowledge of Mesdal's murder, but he got about 10 years, which was the max at that time. Now, I reached out to the DOC to see if Ray went through any kind of treatment programs, but details are not public information, I'm told. They did say he went through educational programming and held several work assignments. Again, Daniel Ray's release date is May 23rd. In the newsroom, Karen Scullin, Fox 9. Mm -hmm.